Hello, my roguelike friends. Uh, it's Rogue Love, aka Virtuous Sinner, aka Jeff Sinisak, back for another seven day roguelike from the 2010 challenge. Um, before we dive in, I need an explanation. I need to provide an explanation for my prolonged absence, as well as a caution against future absence. Um, the last thing I recorded was about a month ago. I had some. I have some damage to my arms that have been accrued from too much computer usage. Let this be a warning to everybody using a computer. Be careful about how you handle things, and if you feel pain, stop doing shit. Um, years ago, I ran into a problem where I began to feel a lot of pain, ignored it, my arms kind of got messed up. And ever since then, uh, the problem has resurged about every six months or so, I guess. It comes back, and uh, for a period of time, I can't use a computer or, in this case, not even an Xbox controller, and frankly, can't really use my hands very effectively. They work, I mean, I, but I can't use them for prolonged periods. I can't you know, write anything by hand or anything else. I can, I can pick up and carry objects as long as I'm careful. That's about it. Um, the truth is, they're still bugging me. It's been a month, and they're not any better. As a matter of fact, they might be slightly worse than they were a month ago, despite my literally not touching a computer for a month and not touching the Xbox very much for a month. Um, and sitting around doing nothing is driving me mad. So I've strapped my arms into these basic gauntlets or these uh, wrist guard things that won't let my wrists flex either direction. I've got these other bands up on my arms that cut off the uh, tendon usage up near the elbow. Together, it's making it a bit bearable to do. I'm trying to set up a doctor's appointment, but apparently the line is busy every time I call, so... For the moment, I'm going to risk this <clears throat> and do this one game, but I, I need to warn you that if I disappear again for a prolonged period, it's because my arms just won't let me do this. So it, I may be back tomorrow with another thing. I may be back in six years' time. I have no idea. I'll be back when I can physically manifest uh, a period of time where I can stand at the computer. In any event, we're going to try this one right now. <clears throat> this is a game by a gentleman named Win W-I-N. It took me a bit of time to track down because it's not called... The game is called Jellies in a Jam, at least officially on the Rogue Basin it is. The executable is just called Jelly or Jellies, and that's all I can find about it elsewhere, as well as called Jelly or Jellies. So, I don't know if it's Jellies in a Jam or if it's just Jellies, but Rogue Basin has it as jelly, Jellies in a Jam, so that's what we're going to call it. Alright, what is the story? Your uncle bought tickets for a vacation to Cancun and left you in charge of his jelly farm until he gets back. He is trusting you to keep the old fascianced Genuine imitation potion-flavored beverage bottling plant supplied with jelly so they stay stocked with that smooth flavor everybody loves. I can predict perhaps this gentleman is from uh, the States. He spells flavor without the U as we, in either England or Canada, we spell with a U. Um, <clears throat> so I'm guessing it's an American gentleman. Let's press the space to continue. Instructions. To create bottles, shove jellies down into the bottom intake. You gain more bottles for fatter jellies. Protect the jellies from hungry kobolds by laying traps and in an emergency fighting them off. When you place a trap, it uses up one bottle of beverage. Help the jellies find the food they need to multiply. You, All one sentence. Help the jellies find the food they need to multiply. You can destroy poisonous wheats by walking over them. Game over. If either all jellies are gone or your life is. Um, I don't know if, that, if all jellies are gone constitutes a victory condition or if it means they're all dead. I don't know if you can win this or if it's purely high score. I have not played it. I've fired it up to see that it works. The reason I've not played it is because I'm not risking touching a computer any more than I have to. So this is my first time through. I apologize. That is the way it's going to be for a while if I can get my hands to cooperate. Use a numpad or WASD keys to move. I'm going to use the WASD keys because my hand, my left hand is doing better than my right. Spacebar places or removes fences. They look like plus sign. T to places or removes kobold traps looks like trap sign and ang band etc q quits the game question mark to bring up the instructions walls look like hashtags food looks like quotation marks poison looks like red quotation marks jellies look like big o's little o's or dots for the different sizes i'm guessing let's press space i can attest to the fact that the um, game is randomly um generated or the map because it didn't look like this when i fired it up a moment ago let me move this off to the side and let me see if I can uh, do this or not. Um, I don't know if that guy's going to... If I have to head over to that... I guess I have to head to him. Is he, is he going to go to the... He's wandering on his own. Green is food. For the moment, I can probably just deal with this jelly. Oh, these two jellies. Eight, is that like two jellies together? That's unusual. I'm just going to ram into them and see if I can push them over here. Whoops, that's the wrong key. Push two jellies into food. I don't want to waste the food, but what are you going to do? I think I can probably get them to fall through right here. Do I have to go north and push them there? All right, S, push one out. 
S. Bottles of jelly on the wall. Q to. Oh, did we win? Q to quit and for new game. Because there are no jellies. Perhaps it implies I have to keep one on the screen at all times. We apparently won. I mean, we, we got a high score. Nothing got eaten. 12 bottles of jelly on the wall. 12 bottles of jelly. And for new game. Let's try this a second time. Yeah, I'm trying to trust and go. Okay. This is a bit... De- oh, it's still, got the, it's still got the text up there. That's not good. Oh, I'm way down at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait, no. All right, let's try quitting. <laughs> because that was just fucked up. Don't try a new game. It apparently uh, messes things up. <clears throat> let's launch that again. Press space to continue, space to continue. Make sure this is recording properly. It's not. Let me uh, tell this to capture the appropriate window. Son of a bitch. Is this it? Nope. That's the actual place it's hanging out. Oh, guys. What have I done? What the frack? That's not the right window. That's the window you thought it was. Let's try stopping this. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I apologize. I'm going to kill this. We're going to try launching it again. Jellies. It should be jellies.exe is what we should be looking at. Let's try it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's uh, try one more time. That's all I'm going to try for now. <clears throat> Probably. We should at least get a chance to try placing the traps and shit. Well, how was that? T to place a trap, space to place a fence. I can walk over fences, apparently. I seemed to. Maybe they can't. I don't know. I, th- I think this is different. So you want it to multiply and only get one of them, as far as I can tell. Let's, put a, let's go over here instead. I can walk right over this. Let's put a T here. All right, we got a trap there waiting for him if he comes down here. Let's go down. You got you to duplicate, dude. I need you to duplicate so I can get rid of some of your friends, but keep you. Is he going right to that trap? There, he hit it. Boom. That helped. I mean, we don't want to push this guy off, right? We want him to multiply. We have to hit him to food? We have to push him to food. I'll push him to this food. Uh, I can't push him there. I'll push him to this. Did that get him more? There we go. I'm going to go up and push one of them off, and I'll leave the other one alone. All right, four bottles of jelly. I, I don't know how to push him north because I can't get beneath him. So should I just, you know, kind of corral him over towards this thing? All right, I can do this. This is seeming kind of weird. Oh, there he's going that way. Let's get him up there. Uh, S. Oh, he, he, he did it. He stepped on it. Does that make him divide into two, as I understand it? Nope. I'm not sure I understand this, guys. South. Intriguing premise for a game. Does that make him bigger? Nope. Does that do it? There are no more kobolds, and there are no more uh, jellies coming. I don't really know what to do with this. <clears throat> oh, wait, we got a second one. Okay. I don't know if it's just like random period of time. Undivide, guys. Give me your undivided attention. There we go. You go there, you go there, you go there. Have I killed all the kobolds? Are we done? Why do I have 12 bottles? Or Why do I have 12 bottles the first time when I only got two of them off and I only have seven now? I'm not going to get him off. All right, I'll go there. there he, he should have divided, I think. No? There are no more kobolds, guys, and I don't know what to make of that. Oops. He left, and we got 13. Guys, I will try one more time just because I'm a bit confused about what happened there. Let's press Q to quit. Um, you know, the, the praise I'm seeing online, before I even go into this, I'll mention I found an old an old uh, Google Usenet site thing, rec.games.roguelike.development. People talking about it. Um, and one guy at least mentioned a very nice little game, easy to pick up, and it's always fun to kick some kobold ass. It compiled very easily, but just in case someone wants it, here's a Linux library, okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, OSX executable and source code. I guess that's about all we all we can see here. Uh, let's let's dive back in. The gentleman who liked it, by the way, was named Tapio, who we've seen he's his uh we've seen his roguelikes a number of times on this channel in the past. Okay, let me bring this up, drag it over. We'll try one last game, guys, just to see if we can make any more heads or tails of it. Let's see if we miss anything here. Okay, we know we gotta keep the thing running. To create bottles, shove them down to the bottom intake. We figure that out. You gain more bottles for fatter jellies. Got it. Protect the jellies from hungry kobolds by laying traps and an emergency fighting them off. We only encountered one kobold last time. There were two the first game, though. I saw them. When you place a trap, it uses up one bottle of beverage. Okay, that's why it uh, stopped working for us. Uh, 
Or that's why we had less rather uh, that's why we had less jelly at that point in the game. Help the jellies find the food they need to multiply. You can create you can destroy poisonous weeds by walking over. We never saw any of those. Okay, let's try one last time. Let's try and well let's let's go up there and lay a trap for him. It seemed like it worked last time. No, I can't go through the uh I can't go through the walls. Bet you he comes here though. Still only one gel or one kobold. There he's gonna blow up. Boom, motherfucker. Oh, here comes a new kobold. Okay, that's a little different than last time. We need to multiply him. Damn it. Oh, when I ran him into the wall, he went that way. Is he supposed to? Can I push him over a fence? No. Okay, let's get one of them out. I pushed south and he went he went to the left, so it, it kinda worked. I had to kill this guy off with a trap first. So I have any bottle I have one bottle of jelly. I have enough for one more trap. And that'll be it. But at least we can keep going. We've seen two kobolds so far. This is our our most intriguing game as it comes another one, actually. Got five bottles of jelly, motherfucker. All right. Um, let's put a trap out. Still not seeing any poisonous food or anything. Oh, he stopped. Oh, there he blew up. Well, at least we're getting to see some more of this in action. Okay, he he divided. So yeah, if you ram into them from beneath, you can like uh. Or from a, from a different direction, they'll, they'll go one way or the other. So you, you're not trapped if they're against a wall. Which is good, because that would have been a serious design flaw. No more kobolds so far. I guess that's good. Eat. Eat and grow fat with food. I can't push him any... He can't, they can't go through... Oh, yeah, he switched positions with me. They can't go through fences, though. We can. They can't. So the difference between a fence and a wall is that I can travel through fences. I cannot travel through walls. Jellies and kobolds apparently can't travel through either. Eat, eat. All right, he divided. That's good. Push one of them south. Eat. Grow large with food. All right, we got one of them. Push him. Whoops, wrong way. Not sure why no more um no more kobolds are coming. Right, here comes one. Okay, it's just a, a bit of time it takes. It's an intriguing game. I've never seen a game quite like this before. Definitely different from any other roguelike I've ever encountered. That's kind of cool. I like the use of the eight to signify two two jellies. That's a neat idea. It doesn't look like it's going to be that hard to continue going for a while, and that kind of sucks because, frankly, I want to end it for my hands. <laughs> Boom. Let's pause here for a second. Okay. You want to push him into that fire. I mean, I guess it'll get harder because you are clearing out terrain, right? When you use the traps, you are clearing out terrain and leaving yourself, therefore, vulnerable. I mean, I suppose I could put a trap out in the open, but then maybe the kobold would walk around it. I don't know how smart they are. Twenty-five jellies. I am a jelly master. That's not gonna work. There we go. It's hard to tell what what it's gonna take to make them grow, mind you. Let's see if that works. Are they are they smart enough to dodge that, or will he go down there? Oh, okay, he went down there. It looks like two of them st stacked together to go down there. That's great. Fuck you, kobolds. How do I wait? I guess I can't. Uh, where'd the other one go? Did he get smaller? Did he eat poison jelly? Or poison thing, rather? I 
want the bigger one, right? Kobolds coming. Oh, I, I let's attack him. Let's try it. Okay, just to see if we could do it. Fuck it. Excellent. Eat all that. I don't know. I'm, my commentary is very lacking right now. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, it's an intriguing game. I'd like to play this through to the completion if I can. If my arms will allow it. That'll be it for me today. And I, as I said, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow. I really can't forecast. Depends on how they're feeling tomorrow. I've been calling the doctor's office all day. And every single time I call, it's a message saying, We are experiencing a higher volume of calls than normal. Please call back again later. And it's just not working out. I have... This is not my first time visiting a doctor for this problem. I've had specialists look at it from many different angles. Nobody has ever had a definitive answer as to what it is. Tennis elbow is one possibility. Um, but tennis elbow, given a month of resting, should have... Should have uh, alleviated most of the symptoms, and they haven't. Um, it hasn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt me. I, I was caught in that blast and it didn't hurt me at all. That's interesting. That yeah, doesn't hurt me at all. I would have made that hurt you. For the record, looks like the jellies can move diagonally. I can't. I assume not, anyway. Oh, I can. If I use the number pad, I can move diagonally. It says WASD or number pad, but it doesn't mention that you can move diagonally with a number pad. That's not cool. <laughs> it's actually kind of intriguing gameplay. I'm not, uh, not minding it. I don't know if it's something I'd come back to very often, especially given there's no victory condition that I can discern, but it's not bad. Oh, I can lay down fences, can't I? Let's try that action out as well in a second. All right, let's go put some fence work down here. Um, let's see if it affects our, Does it use jellies to do this? Let's try a, a, a one here, pressing space. So it doesn't use anything to put these down. I'll be honest, these things are the only thing that made the game challenging. The fact that your explosions take out those fences is the only thing that made the game even vaguely challenging. Uh, without that being the case... I'm not sure there's an issue to worry. As a matter of fact, what if I did this? This is not what I was intending, to be honest, but, uh... Well, what if I did this? Can he go through fences? Let's find out. Can he break fences? Will that fence break? Yeah, he can break them. Okay. That's interesting. It's always good to experiment with the different uh, aspects of a game to find out uh, what its parameters are, you know, how far you can push the engine before you find a way to break it. <laughs> okay, this is not good. He's trapped back there, damn it. <laughs> Holding down the 5 key, hoping he'll come out. Poisonous. There's a first poisonous one, or maybe not. Maybe there's been a few around. This, uh, these wall bits make it challenging because you can't really. Uh, once they get trapped back there, they're trapped back there, right? He's eating a lot, but it's not. Uh, it's not quite making the difference we want to do. Don't go near that poisonous thing! Damn it! He's poisoned. How do I? How do I unpoison? Let's try question mark. Or is there an unpoison? Space. 
to create bottle shelf jellies, blah, 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 blah. Protect jellies from kobolds. Uh, when you place a trap, uh, help the jellies find the food they need to multiply. You can destroy poisonous weeds by walking over them. Damn it, I didn't know that. Game over if they're all, all gone in your life. is. I think we're about to lose the game. All right. I'm going to try and shove him off before he can die. Thus ending the game. With a score of 38, my friends. There you go. That was Jellies in a Jam, a.k.a. Jellies by Win. Small W, small I, small N, Win. From the 2010 Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. Um, like I said, I'll be back when I can, you guys. Did that bug my arms? Yes. Did it bug them a lot? No. Do I know if it matters? No, because a month of rest didn't make them any better. A month of aggravating them may not make them any worse. I don't know. Um, just kind of hoping it isn't permanent. At any rate, I'll be back when I'm back. I, I don't want to make any promises. It may be tomorrow. It may not be for many years. At some point, I'll pop back on. to. If it's been years, I'll pop back on to say, sorry, guys, it's been years. Goodbye. That's about all I can say. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. There's plenty of other old content on the channel. If you want to, if you have a craving for some roguelike videos, uh, just check out the uh, created playlists. Cycle through to one of the seven-day roguelike challenges or the Moria vids or the Angban vids or the Oangban vids or whatever. I promise you there are hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, worth of watching already available on the channel. So uh, give stuff a look. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Press Q to quit. Look at that beautiful black screen. Bye. <clears throat> Cooperate, mouse.